you're actually yeah. enjoying this more than you thought you would, aren't you? Yeah, so originally I was hesitant because I thought it was going to be like, you know, going to rip my heart apart yeah. thinking about like saying no to kids mm. and crushing their dreams. That's like the last thing you want to yeah, do. Yeah. But once I realized that, <clears throat> you know, it was the parents are going to have a harder time than the kids because you know, my mom's like, Willie, these kids, they're going to be, you know, full of energy. Mm. They're not going to cry the way you think they're going to cry if you say no. You have softened it down a little bit, haven't you? Because you do, even if, even if you don't turn for them, you will turn at the end. So Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a, that's a bit different. Well, it would be super rude to not... <laughs> it's all right for the grown-ups. To not turn around <laughs> yeah. for the kids, so... Yeah. You know, we, 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 we alter that from the, the adult voice, but mm. I really enjoy the kids' voice. So with you, because I always see you sitting there and I think, I feel like you always have a plan of what you're looking for and what you want. It feels like that, or is that not the case? Are you, do you just sort of, what is it you hear? Um, I just go with the flow, really, um, <clears throat> and not try to expect too much and have too much demands just based on, you know, my, my mm. taste, what I'm looking for. I try to stay as neutral and blank as possible oh, so, right. you know, the, the moment can paint itself. But you've you've got to really time it carefully as to how you know when you turn around in the course of the series. You know, if you turn around too many times, then you're you're stuffed for when it comes to you know an act that comes on later on. There's a couple of acts that I wish I turned for. Yeah, yeah. And there but, are acts that you wish you hadn't. Well, no, because no, because you can't take <laughs> everyone through, right? No, of course, but. <clears throat> It's, it's more acts that I wish I turned for rather right. than people that I wish I didn't turn for. And how quickly do you think you know when you hear a voice? How quickly do you think you know to push the button? Or do you, do you sometimes keep people waiting? Um, the only time I'm waiting is when I'm indecisive, right? right. But when you, I could hear like, wow, there's, there's quality and potential in this singer. Yeah. Mm. Because a lot of times like, you could be waiting for like a perfect singer and that's not what the show is about. We're coaches and we should be able to take someone from you know, D to A. You, um, you have to, um, I suppose you've got to think, when you're doing that, um, uh, uh, turning or not turning, you are creating a very important memory in a young mind, aren't you? That was the hard part of doing the kid's voice, is <clears throat> you either creating a, an amazing memory or something that they're going to have to get over. Mm. So that... That, that's hard. And because that happened with you, didn't it? Because your mum was really um, supportive and, and the memories that, the musical memories that, you know, that you shared between the pair of you, they were important later on in life. Yeah, well, I was the, you know, I've, I'm pretty sure every single one of these kids that are on the kid's voice are the kid that's in the family where the parents are like, get up and sing that song, show, show grandma what you can do. I was that kid growing yeah. up. And I'm really happy to, <clears throat> you know, encourage these kids to, live out their dreams and be a part of their lives in an in a, in a, in a awesome, optimistic, you know, I'm going to go out there and try to do the impossible way. And, and what about you? Because you're going back on tour, aren't you, with Black Eyed Peas? Yeah, That's me and my best friends. Which is great. And it's nice for you because when you did your solo tour, you, you hated that in the end. You had all these amazing opportunities and sort of arena tour, and yet actually being on your own just wasn't the same as being with those guys. Well, I started doing music as an ensemble. So I don't, I don't, you know, when I was up there by myself, that's not what I, what I designed. It's hard to believe that you could be on stage at the O2 and lonely, but you were a bit, weren't you? Yeah, because my best friends, Apple and Taboo, is what I wanted to do music with, so. No Fergie mm. this time around, because she's working on her album. So we, we're, we're back to what we were when we started the group as a trio. And, you know, we're still a quartet. It's just right now our calendars you know, yeah. don't allow the quartet. You have so. to get the other Fergie, phone the Duchess. So yeah, the Duchess, you know, um, she's, we, we always hinted and, and fooled around with like the idea of like doing a poetry project together. And- um, You have to do that. And I, and I told Fergie, I was like, yo, look, I'm gonna be rocking with like the original <laughs> Fergie, you know what I mean? So. <laughs>